that insight with other people. Um, and you know, one of one of my favorite scriptures that really motivates me is uh, Revelations twelve. Hey, hit the it too. It's um, right. uh, we they, they overcome, overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their yeah, testimony. testimony. And 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 that was hey. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh, really, what a lot of people don't know is that I do spoken word as well. And <laughs> I, I do spoken word as well. And the first time that I went to perform, I, 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 in, anybody that knows me growing up would know that Shannon does not like to speak in front of people. Mm. She does not, I didn't like to share any of my writings or anything like that because I was afraid that people could use it against me that, um, you know, they won't understand mm. my story or what it is that I'm trying to convey within my poetry or my spoken word performance. Um, but that scripture came to mind where God was really impressing on me. Other people need to hear your story. They need to hear your testimony through your spoken word. And if you don't do that, you're taking away from someone else's victory for someone else's being able to have a testimony of their own because they heard your story and how you got through certain things in your life. And so that really motivated me to actually go and start performing and doing um, uh, different spoken word pieces and things of that nature. Uh, in fact, I remember one day I was going to an audition and I could literally feel the anxiety in my stomach. Mm. And when I felt it, I literally, I turned to my stomach. I had never done this before. I looked at my stomach and I said, you will not eh. be anxious today. Authority. Said, you will not do that. <laughs> You have, I thought about all the times that anxiety, that worry, that fear had kept me from doing so many things. And I spoke to that and I said, you will not do that today. And I tell you, when I opened up my mouth <laughs> to perform for that audition, they were looking at me because they knew me for, you know, a little bit of time. So they looked at me and they were like, who are you? Like, how did that come out of you? And, um, I, you know, to God be the glory, because I, I just knew that, you know, I had to release it. If the only barrier for me to do that um, was because of my own fear, that wasn't worthy to me. It wasn't a good enough reason. So, mm. hey. <laughs> Amazing. I am so hyped because like, like you were saying, so many things are just running through my mind where just one that's real pressing is um perfected love does not torment and mm. what we're all looking for is that god-sized hole to be filled and um that's mm. through fellowship communion with the father and mm. when it comes through like fear the lord has not given us the spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind you literally were using your god-given authority over your situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, yeah. it's, it's just so interesting, like um, bridging the sacred and the um, secular, we have so many um, practical steps to Christian principles, like the mm -hmm. Bible and make it submit to the word of God. You have dominion, you have authority, but I do think maybe it is to um, spiritualize um, where, People are like, man, it's just the Bible. I don't believe in it or whatever, whatever. But when you're doing it on your regular marketplace, your regular day to day, like, hey, you're not going to be afraid. Boom, it works. There, there's no, there's no, I don't know, hyper spirituality behind it. It, it, it just makes it really practical. And um, when it comes to the practical, just to really double back um, with the story, I was talking to a guy and he was like leading me in the Lord. And he, um, we we're like kind of doing like dream interpretation of this prophecy that I had. And um, what he was saying, it, like in short, I was, I, I, there was this guy and he was kayaking and um, so forth and so on. And he got rich um, by being a kayak manufacturer and a um, seller of kayaks, right? And so, you know, dream interpretation, um, I'm getting this thing wrong. <laughs> like, he was like, you're missing the point of the, like, he was like, oh, I should go into, I would say, oh, I should go into kayaking business. He was like, no, no, no. Yes, that's right. But that's not what he, the Lord's trying to say to you. And he was saying, like, um, 
And again, I may be taking the fun out of the dream, but kayaks are a two person vessel. And so what the Lord is saying, like my purpose will be between me and him. But also about kayaking is that what do you do in boats? You fish. And I was like, bro, well, I said I missed it in, entirely. But again, counsel comes through um, other people sometimes, just like a therapist or a counselor. But he was like, hey, the Lord wants you to be a fisher of men. And as being a fisher of men, you need to have different bait. And when I say he opened it up like so much, I was like, I was not getting that revelation. I wasn't asking the right questions. <laughs> and... um when it comes to having like that different bait, like you're saying, meeting um, each one of your um, people is that um, Colossians 3, I was speaking to earlier, it says seizing your words with salt that you know how to meet everyone individually. And so that's the power of testimony. The spirit of God um, is able to do so powerfully because, um, again, we're a spirit of uh, where perfected love is, there is no torment. And so if you have a spirit of fear or if you have torment when it comes to your past, there is no freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's life and liberty and freedom. And so that's why testimony is so powerful. There's so much freedom behind it. There's so much revel uh, <laughs> revelation, but it's so much, um, I don't know. It's just like freedom begets freedom. So when you share, it's like, yo, it's doing all these amazing things. And so I guess... so. So, Lord, um, we just um, pray and prophesy everything that was spoken today uh, will be on good ground. Uh, we come against um, patterns of um, cycles, um, generational curses, um, anything of the former self that is not our identity in Christ. We pray by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus that you restore every listener by your Holy Spirit to the former glory that we are returning to. It is by, not by strength, not by might, but by the spirit of God that Jesus does these things. That we will be full, we'll have shalom, and we'll have um, perfect restoration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Chang, go ahead and pray, God. I know you got that heat. <laughs> My gosh. Um... <laughs> Uh, dear Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to get together, oh God, to give you praise and glory and show, Father, how you would like for us to function and operate, Lord God. So we just pray in the name of Jesus that you, Father, will allow anyone who is under the sound of my voice, Lord God, God, that you, oh Father, will speak to them specifically, Lord God, that you will reveal the hidden things within, oh Father, that needs to be revealed so that they can draw closer and nearer to you, oh Father. So we pray anything that blocks the hearing, anything that blocks the sight of your people, let it be removed moved, oh Father, and give them divine strategy, whether it's through a therapist, whether it's through a pastor, whether it's through a church, oh God, give them divine strategy to be able to remove every barrier that comes between them and you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Perfect. Thanks for watching, and we are out. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for watching The Blessing Report at theblessingreport.com. And if you would like to partner with us as we continue to make good family friendly Christian content, make sure to become a subscriber at theblessingreport.com where you can be a monthly or a weekly donator, or you can make a one time donation in the description box below or the link in our bio. And if you purchase from the blessingreport.com slash shop, a portion of your proceeds goes to help fund our productions when you buy from our Christian clothing. And if you'd like to partner with us as we move towards our feature lib film and our TV series, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications for we have new videos and podcasts every Wednesday and Sunday, so come back next week. Thank you so much for your love and support. Make sure to check out a playlist, subscribe, and watch another video. God bless.